So, hello again. Uh, as I've said in the past, one of the things that I know that I, I don't think I'll ever figure it out is life. I don't understand if it's a series of quirky circumstances, coincidences. Uh, sometimes I find it enthralling. Sometimes I find it absolutely boring. Uh, uh, I get absolutely fed up with it. But um, this weekend, uh, one of my kids came home, my daughter, and she has started a a fairly elite hotel motel management school in Lausanne, Switzerland. And uh give you kind of an idea of <clears throat> its reputation. We were working, uh, I was working, I was in Zurich a few years ago, quite a few years ago actually, maybe 20, 25 years ago. And uh, a young came, man came into the business I was working in, and, and I, I said something, and he said, oh, you speak English, I want a chance to practice my English. And I said, what do you do? He said, well, I just graduated from hotel school, not the one in Lausanne. That is for snobs. And I said, well, that's interesting. I said, uh, because uh, that's where my wife graduated from, and she's a snob. <laughs> the kid was quite uh, embarrassed by his uh, faux pas, but uh, it's where my daughter's been accepted. She's been there three weeks. She came back, <coughs> excuse me, and was talking about... Uh, what she's learning about wines, how to taste wines, how to uh, get the bouquet, how to smell them, how to move them around the glass, everything. And we're sitting at dinner with a really nice red wine that my wife found. And uh, my daughter said, you know, what I would really like to try someday is ice wine. And I said, well, we have some here. Now, a lot of times I'm quite a trickster. I, I enjoy my sense of humor. Not all people do, but I do. And... Uh, my daughter rolled her eyes, and I said, yeah, look here. And when I was in Canada this summer, uh, a friend of mine, Neil McTavish, who came to visit a little while ago, uh, took me to a, a vineyard. And uh, they're fairly young vineyards uh, where I grew up, but they're getting a, a, a good reputation. And uh, we had some red wine there. I brought some home to my wife, and she loved it. But on the counter was this thing called ice wine, a little container. And so I bought it for my wife, just as a gift. I didn't, I don't know much about it. Uh, my daughter had been told about it and said, this is, boy, someday I want to try ice wine. And I talked to my mom about it. She said, oh, they just figured out how to market little tiny bottles of wine really expensively. But the process apparently is quite uh, lengthy and sophisticated and takes uh, timing. Uh, so I opened this little bottle of white wine, uh, ice wine, and we all had a little shot glass of it. And my daughter got to laughing, and she said, Honest to God, Dad, she said, I thought this was on my bucket list. I thought this was one of the things that I was going to have to do, you know, late in life after I'd done everything else because the way people have talked about ice wine. And we had a little bit left over. I said, we'll take it back to school. She goes back to school this evening. But uh, why I purchased ice wine, it was just on the counter at this vineyard uh, with Neil uh, near Point Pelee in uh, Canada, is beyond me. Yeah, my wife she said, oh, I really like this. You know, so I guess I have to find some more somewhere. But, like I said, I don't know how life works. Uh, sometimes it's inter interesting, sometimes it's not. Uh, question, though. Are you the same or different since when this video started and right now? If you say you're the same, well, then we have to go back and say, no, you're not. You can't be. It's impossible. Cells have lived, cells have died, circulation has happened. Uh, look around. See what's different. Uh, awareness is a key thing in life to looking around and seeing where you exactly are and keep that little voice in your qu my head a little bit quieter. Thanks. Have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com